What's good everybody? It's your boy Bulldog aka Jesse and in today's video this is going to be a guide going over gold. I recently unlocked gold on my first weapon uh, the XM4 so what we're going to do is take a look at all the challenges for it. I'll give you some tips and uh, hints to kind of help you out on the easiest way to get gold. Uh, the grind is going to be kind of long this year. The first time you know for this gun it took me about nine to ten hours um, I could probably get that knocked down to about seven hours, but still, it's a long grind. At least I know what I'm doing now, so I know uh, pretty much the easiest way to get it done. So if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Also, real quick, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, I did a video last week about how to get the Astro headset working with the Xbox Series X, and that's my first video that's gotten... A bunch of views right now it's over 2,000 views and it hasn't even been you know two weeks yet it's been barely a week so uh, thank you to everybody for that also I realized that there's like 99% of you guys that watched my video that are not subscribed or subscribed to any of my videos for that matter so if you could you know just click that little subscribe button it's free it doesn't hurt you it helps out me and the channel and it'd be greatly appreciated uh, once again, thank you to everybody. This well, last week during uh, my COD vacation has been a great week. And um, again, I don't know what else to say. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. So let's get into the challenges and see what that looks like. And then from there, we're going to go into some raw, unedited uh, gameplay of me unlocking gold for my first weapon in Black Ops Cold War. Let's get it. Okay, so first things first, this is going to be going over the class setup that I used to get gold on the XM4. Um, again, this is my personal setup, what I think works the best once you unlock everything uh, for this weapon. And our secondary, we're running a launcher, and the reason for that is because we have to eventually get gold on it anyway, so we might as well start working towards that while we're doing other stuff. Um, for some of the challenges, you're going to need to be able to stun people and then kill them. So we're going to be running the flashbang for our tactical. Our lethal is going to be the simtex. And again, this is going to be for one of the challenges like the flashbang. You got to kill people while they're on your field mic. So we are going to be running that. Um, for our perks, we're going to use ghost, cold-blooded, and ninja. These are probably going to be the crutch perks for this year's COD. Just because you can stay off of enemy UAV, you don't get uh, targeted by AI with cold-blooded and ninja, makes your footsteps a lot quieter. Now, in this game, you can hear people coming a mile away, and you know exactly where they're coming from if you got a semi-decent headset. So these three perks are going to be uh, the way to go. Also, for the wild card, we're going to be using Lawbreaker, which lets us pick these three perks from the same perk three slot. And then what we're going to do is take a look at the attachments that I'm running. So first off, I got the Micro uh, Flex LED, the, the sight pretty much. And for the muzzle, we're running the Muzzle Brake 556. Now what this does is it increases uh, vertical recoil control. So that's going to help us aim better and uh, manage recoil better. Then for the barrel, we're running the 13.5 uh, Reinforced Heavy Barrel. And this is going to give us uh, better damage over range and more bullet velocity, which is going to increase our damage as well. Then for the underbarrel, we're running the field agent grip. And this, again, helps with vertical and horizontal recoil. So again, it's going to make our gun kind of like a laser beam. And finally, I'm running the 50-round uh, mag, the Salvo. And this is the fast mag. So this is... The highest capacity magazine, you start with max ammo and you reload quicker. And this is just what I use for uh, this gun here. Next thing we're going to look at is all the camos for this thing. So the spray camos right here, you need a total of 300 kills. That's going to happen pretty easily. Um, I recommend doing a majority of these camos in hardcore. It's just a lot easier and a lot less of a headache that way. So for the 300 eliminations, you'll want to do it in hardcore right here. Then the next thing we got is stripes. And for stripes, this is going to be headshots. So you want to get a total of 100 headshots. And again, 
I recommend doing this in hardcore. It's a lot easier that way. Uh, classic, we got here, you got to get um, Bloodthirsties. So you need a total of 20 Bloodthirsties. So that's five kills without dying 20 times. And again, I prefer hardcore for this. And then we have Geometric. And for Geometric, it is going to be Long Shots. So you're going to need a total of 50 Long Shots. And in this game, you can uh, ping areas. So like on the bigger maps, like Satellite, you can just put a ping out by, for me, it's double tapping left on the D-pad. And as long as you're like 40 meters away or whatever, it'll count as a long shot. And that's a pretty big map. So you, if you stand in one side of the sand dunes and somebody's in the other side, then you should be able to get this one pretty easy. Next up is Flora. And for Flora, this is where... I recommend going into core and going into the uh, combined arms mosh pit because what you're going to need to do here is blind or stun enemies or using your uh, field mic or you could do a UAV as well but you have to kill an enemy while they're showing up um, from some of your equipment or your UAV. This one is a little bit you have to do it 75 times this one kind of sucks. Um, for me especially since I play hardcore mainly so that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Next up is science and for science you need to kill 50 enemies while they're taking cover. In hardcore this is really really easy because a lot of people try to get on head glitches all the time so that one shouldn't be too difficult. Finally we have psychedelic and for a psychedelic you need to get uh, double kills so two or more kills rapidly uh, 25 times. And uh, in the gameplay where I unlock gold, you'll see me um, get this right here in the, in the beginning of the match. Now, one thing to note is for some reason in hardcore, if you unlock gold or any camo for that matter, it doesn't show you that you've unlocked that camo. So you just kind of are sitting there guesstimating. And finally, here's what gold looks like. So now we got gold on this weapon and uh, it's time to work on the AK-47. And that's going to be the next weapon we do. So without further ado, let's hop into the match and uh, see how I unlock gold and see how the match went. Hardcore kill yeah, confirmed. Oh, we're doing kill confirmed. The okay. Secretariat are watching. Push the nigger to the Oh, that's a bad area. How do I mark this shit again? There you go. Oh, shit. Chill over here. Come over there. Oh. I got some close it up. No, teammate. I think that's gold. What are you playing? TDM right now? Uh, kill confirmed. There's two of them. Ah, the last one got me. We're losing the Atlantic. Ah, oh, come on. How are we losing? That's a grenade. Hey, uh, our spawn right side. Spawn flutes. I went back to our original spawn. Team 
teammate, no! You gotta be fucking kidding me, teammate. by one guys we gotta get moving Wow, son. Enemy care 
victory! Yo, 40 oh. and 12, chat. And we unlock gold. Damn. That's going to be a YouTube video. <laughs> I don't know what I managed to do, but I managed to do something. That yes, round. I got gold. Right, you got gold on your first game? Yeah. On the first I'm assault rifle? I'm proud of yeah. you. I'm proud of myself, bro. That shit, that shit is not easy. No, right. All right, folks. So there you have it. So we got gold on our first weapon. Like I said, it takes about uh, after I get everything, you know, zoned in and all that good stuff. It takes about freaking seven to eight hours, something like that. Um, I know I didn't really talk a lot through that with that video. There's about three or four matches in a row right there where I was just in the zone, and uh, I kind of told chat that I wasn't really gonna be talking, and they kind of understood. They they were still sitting there rooting me on, so. It was a lot of fun. We got one weapon down, and uh, next thing we're working on is the AK-47. Also, I don't know if you guys want to see it or not, but in my downtime right now, I've been grinding for gold in zombies for the XM4. So if that's something you guys want to see, just put it down in the comments, let me know, and uh, I'll make a video for that as well. The next video that we're going to do next Wednesday is going to be the AK-47, and we'll probably go a little more in depth uh, like we did last year. Unless you guys prefer this way, then we'll just stick with this. So if you want to see what I'm up to when I'm not streaming or making videos, you can follow me on Twitter, at Bulldog87G. Or you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram, at Bulldog87 underscore gaming. Also, I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch.tv slash Bulldog87 underscore gaming. This Friday is going to be Follower Friday for anybody that has Black Ops Cold War. As long as you're following me on Twitch or you're sub to the YouTube channel. Then uh, we can run some matches together, either in uh, hardcore, core, or zombies. It just depends on who's all in there and what the majority wants to do. And Saturday and Sunday is just going to be uh, the continue of Grind for Gold on either the AK-47 or uh, I think it's called the Krig-6 is the weapon after that if I have gold on the AK by then. So I'll see you guys in the next stream. I'll catch you on the battlefield. Peace out.